Hello there and welcome back to another one of our daily videos. Jesus said in John chapter 12 verse 24, unless a kernel of wheat is planted in the soil and dies, it remains alone, but its death will produce many new kernels. Now it's been estimated that one single kernel of wheat will produce a stalk bearing three heads of wheat. And in each head there are between 15 and 35 kernels. That means that there can be close to 100 kernels per stalk. Stick with me on this. After they're planted, these kernels will go on to produce 10,000 kernels. And when those get replanted, they'll produce a million kernels of wheat. And if you keep on going, you'll cover the whole earth with wheat, I'm sure, in no time at all. But it's amazing how quickly such a small thing can multiply, isn't it? And it's the same with us. We can achieve so much when we commit our lives to Christ and start where we are. D.L. Moody once said, the world has yet to see what God can do through a man who is yielded to him. He decided to simply start where he was and ended up impacting the world for Christ. And when Peter, James and John met Jesus, their goal in life was to make a living. And then Jesus invited them to follow him and to make a difference. And today, he is inviting each one of us to do exactly the same thing. He's inviting us to find a need that no one is meeting and allow him to use us to meet that need. He's asking us to find a greater cause, uh, a cause greater than self-interest. In other words, his cause and to pour our lives into it. Now, when Jesus asked the disciples to leave their jobs and their security, he was turning their world upside down. But when they said yes to him, they became so successful that their enemies accused them of turning the world upside down, which you can read about, if you'd like to, in Acts chapter 17, verse 6. But today, let's allow God to use us and to turn the world upside down for him. So why don't you today ask God to help you to make a difference and to find a cause for you to get behind. Ask him to show you the first small step you need to take and then pray that he will multiply your efforts. Let's pray. A special prayer for this week. Risen Christ, by the lakeside you renewed your call to your disciples. Help your church to obey your command and draw the nations to the fire of your love, to the glory of God the Father. Amen. And let's finish by sharing the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.